Vlogmas. Today I'm going to show you guys how I filmed some recipes. This is going to be a yummy wintery recipe called chipino. So if you guys have not heard of chipino before, it's a fish or seafood stew that has a tomato broth with wine, some garlic. It's so delicious. It was originated back in San Francisco in the 1880s and the name chipino comes from the idea that they chipped in any seafood that they had on hand. So Today I'm using shrimp and like a seafood blend from Trader Joe's. This is a great Christmas dish. If you're familiar with like Italian culture for Christmas, they do the Feast of Seven Fishes. So they have seven different seafood dishes for Christmas dinner. So that's kind of the inspiration behind why I wanted to make Chipino for you guys. Hopefully that'll be some good Christmas food inspo if you guys want something different. Still really elegant, but it's so simple to make. As always, if you guys are interested in anything that you guys see here that I used to cook or that I'm wearing or that you guys see in the background of the vlogs, then please check the description box below because I link everything there. So if you guys are interested in any of like the pot, induction pan, any of the tools that I use, I will link them all for you guys so you guys can make your own chipino. But I will show you guys a little bit of what it looks like and how I serve it with a side of my favorite roasted broccoli and feta. So that's on the agenda for today. I will also pop in later and give the cast a little advent calendar treat for the day. But for now, let's get started on cooking. All right, so before we officially get started, let me run through the ingredients that we have so far. So like I said, the star of the show is going to be our seafood. So for today, I have some shrimp. Um, these are peeled and deveined, but the tail is still on because Cooking anything with like the tail on or the shell on, or for meats like the bone on, is gonna have so much more flavor. And then I just have this seafood blend from Costco or from Trader Joe's that has shrimp, calamari rings, and bay scallops. So that's our seafood. For the rest of our ingredients, we have some olive oil and butter to saute the onions. You could also add fennel to this. It's also very traditional, but I didn't have any on hand, but you could add fennel. For spices, we have Old Bay, garlic powder, bay leaf, oregano, onion powder, and thyme. Also a little bit of red chili flake, some chopped garlic, and anchovy paste. We're going to deglaze the pan with some Worcestershire sauce and white wine. This is a Pinot Grigio. We're also going to add some diced tomatoes some chicken broth, and then finishing off the dish with some lemon zest. It's in this little ramekin here, some zest and lemon juice. Oh, it looks like the girls are gonna help me. So I would recommend that anytime you guys cook a dish, have everything ready. That's called like mise en place in French. It means everything in its place. So prep everything, like chop up your onions, chop up your garlic, have everything laid out so that once you are ready to cook, all you're really doing is adding things to the pot. So, First thing we're gonna do is turn on the heat. This is just like a medium low heat and then we're gonna add the olive oil and butter and then we're gonna add the onions to it. I like having a mix of onion or of olive oil and butter because the olive oil has a higher smoke point than butter but butter obviously has good flavor. So we're gonna add some butter to this. And then also obviously have salt and pepper. This is just one onion. So we're adding our onion to the pan. And we're just gonna let this saute over medium heat until the onions are soft and they turn a little translucent in color. I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper. We're gonna let this saute until the onions are soft, translucent, and delicious. Hi guys, so I know it's a weird angle, but also a quick little tip. I like to lay out my ingredients in the order that I'm gonna use them. So here first I had salt, pepper, olive oil, onions, and butter, because that's the first step. The next step is going to be sauteing the garlic with the spices of anchovy paste, so that's second. 
Third, we're gonna deglaze with Worcestershire sauce and Pinot Grigio, so that's the third. And then lastly, we're gonna add our big liquids. Sorry, I'm like out of, I'm like blocking myself, but um, fourth will be the, um, the liquid, so the diced tomatoes and the chicken broth, and then I just have the seafood off to the side. But having everything laid out as well, kind of, it makes everything thoughtless, is that what I'm trying to say? Like, you don't have to think about it. You just have to like add the ingredients as you go along, so that's another tip too. You could also leave the onions to kind of cook for a bit and like let your, like you don't have to stir it the whole time, but every once in a while, I do like to stir it just to make sure nothing burns. So just make sure that you're looking out for that. But the onions are coming together nicely. They're starting to develop some color, starting to caramelize and sweeten, and they're becoming translucent and they're becoming softer. Now that the onions are where I want them, I'm going to add our garlic, all of our spices and some anchovy paste just to really drive home that seafood flavor since we don't have seafood stock or clam juice which is also used in chipino i just have chicken broth but we're going to try to emulate those seafood flavors with some anchovy paste so let's add all that right now Have our garlic some red chili flake Add as much or as little as you like. I had a good pinch because I want it to be a bit spicy. Some Old Bay. I'm going to add about, I would say, a teaspoon. It's pretty salty. A teaspoon of Old Bay. A tablespoon of garlic powder because I really like garlic powder. Like a half teaspoon of thyme. Not too much because thyme could be quite strong. But thyme is really good in seafood dishes because it's a little bit lemony. So it goes well with seafood. I'll do like half a tablespoon of onion powder and then half a teaspoon of oregano because dried oregano could be strong as well. So we're just going to cook the spices and the garlic just for a minute just to get that raw taste off of the spices. Toast them a little bit in the olive oil and butter and then obviously we're going to try to cook the garlic just for a minute. You don't want to burn the garlic, you just want to release the flavors, get it heated up. We're also going to add our anchovy paste. Oh my gosh, the smell of Old Bay smells so good. Not too much. Again, we're just trying to get a little bit more of that seafood flavor in there. So we have like a teaspoon of anchovy paste in there. And we're just cooking everything out for like a minute or so. So when you add the wine, it's going to sizzle and bubble a lot because you're adding the first like good bit of liquid in there. So don't be alarmed, but I'm probably gonna add like half of this. Then we're gonna add some Worcestershire, which is anchovy based as well. So just kind of driving that seafood flavor home. And deglazing just means if there's any bits at the bottom of your pan that have created flavor, like those brown bits, deglazing means that you are just adding a liquid to release those spices and bits of cooked onion and garlic and reincorporating that into the sauce. A lot of people say it's like free flavor, which I agree with. So you're just taking this time to scrape off the bottom of the pot and you're releasing any stuck bits essentially that are stuck on the pot and you are just releasing that into your mixture, which will become part of the overall sauce. So it just adds more flavor. It ensures that you're getting as much flavor as you can into your sauce as you go along. It's smelling so good. Once you add the wine, it really wakes everything up. The acidity of the wine is a good counterpart to these like heavier flavors. Like the Old Bay is pretty strong, but the tomato is gonna be so good. And then I'm gonna add my bay leaf now as well just one bay leaf okay and it almost turns into like a paste at this point once the alcohol evaporates out and now we're gonna add our tomatoes and chicken broth 12 ounces of diced tomatoes add that to the pan because we have everything laid out here already for us i gonna raise the heat a little bit it's pretty simple we're just kind of adding everything to the pot at this point and then we want to add enough chicken broth to reach about like leave about an inch at the top because we want some room for our seafood so we're just going to add our chicken stock which is just a couple like a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon and some water 
Yeah, so two cups of chicken broth. All right, so we are just gonna raise the heat a little bit and let this come up to a simmer before we add our seafood because I want the flavors to develop a little bit and for the mixture to be hot before we add our seafood. So I'll bring you guys back once it's bubbling. Right, so while we wait for this chipino broth to come up to a simmer, I thought let's prep our side, which is gonna be roasted broccoli with crumbled feta on top. So first, we're just gonna put our broccoli into, I have an air fryer tray. We are going to season this with a little bit of olive oil. Be careful on the salt because we're gonna add crumbled feta on top, which is pretty salty, so just watch your salt. I'm gonna add some red pepper flake, garlic powder. I'm gonna add a piece of sourdough just to toast in the air fryer anyway, since we're gonna be using it. So I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer and be right back. All right, so our broth has come up to a simmer. You can taste it for seasoning now, although I would recommend seasoning after the seafood is added just so you can really taste everything together and I feel like your salt is going to be more accurate once you add the mm, once you add the seafood but that broth is so good so we are going to add our shrimp calamari rings and base scallop so seafood doesn't take very long at all I actually put the broccoli in for 10 minutes into the air fryer so I think within 10 minutes, since the seafood is frozen, that should be just enough time. Yeah, I think I will add some. You could also add cod, that's really popular, like a fish in here. I did it just because I find that when I make chipino, I tend to gravitate towards the shellfish anyways, so I just opted out of adding fish this time, but you could obviously add any fish you would like. We have salmon, but salmon's a bit strong. I didn't necessarily want that in this dish, but you could totally add salmon if you want to as well. Alrighty, so the air fryer just went off and I think our broth is actually perfect. I like to let things kind of sit. So I just realized I didn't hit record, but all I did is add feta and then a little bit of lemon zest on top of our um, broccoli, but there it is. I was saying that the whole idea of the feta is to look like snow so that's why it's like you know wintery that that'd be kind of a cute little nod to winter so we're gonna push that off to the side and now we're gonna plate our chipino which should be ready now we just have our toasted sourdough on the side here okay Ooh. wow this smells so delicious you guys shrimp there's the little scallops and little baby calamari with the tomato. Oh yeah, that looks so good. So we're just gonna pour it into our bowl. Or we're gonna ladle it actually into our bowl. Make sure not to serve the bay leaf. I'm just gonna stick that back in there. Okay, that looks so good. The garnish. A little bit of lemon zest on top and then of course you have to have a little squeeze of lemon over any seafood dish that white wine flavor with the seafood it just tastes so good and there's not that many ingredients in here so it's really clean tasting you could really taste all the ingredients which is really important Ooh, let me serve it with a little bit of wine on the side so the rest of the pinot grigio but I highly encourage you guys to make it during the holiday season. I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you guys think of my version. But for now, I'm just going to take some photos and then enjoy this for my dinner. And I will see you guys in the next one.